live from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the Kansas City Royals. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And on the hill, Zach Greinke. Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Okay, all set to go. And now the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski. And first offering is fouled off. First pitch, one o'clock. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Line drive, and out number one on the grab. Batting second, the first baseman, number nine. Brandon up Belt. to the plate is Brandon Belt. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Yeah, they get Belt for the out. Out number two. Batting third, the shortstop, Brandon. Here's Crawford. Brandon Crawford. Wings and lines a base hit into left field. First pitch swing in went up there with the plan to be Batting aggressive. Court. Anytime you rip a line different. drive the other way, Darren. you feel really good Run. about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. At the plate, Darren Ruff rolled over to third. The throw to first. That's out number three. One left for San Francisco. Half inning complete. We've got no score. Bottom of the first. And today's starting pitcher, Logan Webb. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Bottom of the first. And to the play for Kansas City, Whit Merrifield. On the ground right side, Estrada picks it up. Off balance throw in time. A great play deep in the hole. Batting second. The third baseman, Bobby Witt Jr. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. That one hit to right. Makes the catch. Two up, two down. Batting third. The catcher. Salvador. Perez. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Perez swings and hits a deep fly ball left field. That one's well struck. And it's off the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. So, runner at second, two down. Andrew Benintendi steps up. 
the left fielder. And line drive, base hit. Yeah. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Back-to-back -back base hits. Pretty good spot. That Hard good. and inside. The but that's a hit. perfect example of keeping your hands inside yeah. the ball, tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And first offering is fouled off. That's a base hit as a run scores. Picks himself up in RBI. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish. Batting six. The on the ground, hitter. right side. Toss the belt, and that is the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, second inning set to go. Here's Jack Lead Peterson. San Francisco, the left fielder, number 23, John Peterson. Granke back to work. This one smashed down the right field line. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. And a base hit up the middle. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. One down, runner at first. Now it's going to be Tyro Estrada. To short, could be two. Over to second for one. And he'll be safe at first. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Luis Gonzalez, the next giant to hit. Line drive. And a base hit. Slides, but it gets by him. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. First and second, two outs. This is Joey Bart. That's out to center field. Taylor pulls that one down, and that'll do it. Giants leave a couple. They're down one nothing. Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Adelberto Mondesi up to the plate. For the Royals. Not shortstop. Number 27. The pitch. Out in the left center for a line drive base hit. Around first, heading for two. And the bottom of the second starts with a double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Digging in, Bang Michael A. Taylor. The center fielder. Up the middle. Michael A. Taylor. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, I can understand the Batting defense done. right there trying to cut the off that lead base runner in third, but a good game. jump and an excellent Whoa, finish man. for the base runner to get in there safely.
Nicky Lopez up to the play. Ground ball right side could be two. They get one to second, tag safe. So they get one at first, but can't complete the double play. Now that the right field with Merrifield. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, Whit Merrifield. hit center field one run is in now two runs score it's three zip picks himself up a couple of ribbies that's about as textbook as it gets got his stride and load out of the way early he stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front man that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion Man at first with one gone. And next up for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. Double play ball to second. Toss the belt. And Witt is out. The catcher, number 13, Salvador Perez. Next is the Royals catcher, Salvador Perez. And that one hit to first. He'll do it himself. And that is the third out of the inning. We play two full. It's the Royals three and the Giants nothing. On to the third inning. Stepping in, Mike Yastrzemski. The Giants in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Merrifield moving back for this one. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And up next for the Giants, Brandon Bell. And that one ripped into right. That's a hit. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Fly ball down the line. Merrifield settles under it. Calls it in. And there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now that the designated hitter, Darren Ruff. So now here's the DH, Darren Ruff. Bounce to the left side. Witt loves it. Throw to first. That'll do it. And the Royals get a shutout on the mound. This is just a nice win. 3 nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. 3 nothing. our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us.